Hey VC, Jeff here. So, as I was filming yesterday the video for the uh, B section of my CDs, uh, I knew that I probably had too many, but I went ahead and did it, and then when I got into editing it, I realized that the video was longer than I really wanted. I'm trying to keep them a little shorter, and actually when I edited out a piece that I did, I still found that the video I posted was probably longer than it should be. So I'm going to try to really get a grasp on how to bring these segments down to smaller pieces um, so that they're, you know, easily more digestible. People watch them. Um, so I s chopped out a big section of the video from last night and I'm putting it in today as a separate video because in actuality that ended up being you know under the limit of where I want it to be so what you're gonna see now is a piece of last night so it's filmed at the same time but it is a separate section a separate section of the bees and from here on out I'm gonna try to make these a little shorter uh, as I go through the different you know letters of the alphabet here with the CD collection so here it is check it out thanks a lot for watching all right now we're only going to go through these next this next batch and then i'm going to stop after this so cut this short but we're getting into the black territory so here we go how many blacks can we get we got black and blue this is like their most their newest album which you know came out a handful of years ago after many years of silence great stuff they still rock and then these are all just the classics i'm not going to go through all of these if you if you're into 80s metal of this of this nature the hair stuff you're familiar with black and blue i have pretty much i think i have all of these are on vinyl i think i do have on vinyl except for that most recent one i mean you know this is just pivotal stuff when th when these guys came out in a, what like 84 uh absolutely fell in love they were you know kind of discovered by gene simmons and of course we know tommy thayer the guitar player for black and blue is now the guitar player in the uh Spaceman costume for Kiss. Uh, this is just something I bought online. It's just a bootleg of a live DVD. And then their first album. Absolutely classic. Love it, love it. Next black, we got Black Sabbath. And, of course, these are all classics. I'm not going to say much about these. Uh, this is the Lenticular 13 cover. Uh, the reissue of the, uh, of the uh, Dio one. Multiple discs and all that stuff here. Most of these I think I picked up are going to be those as they were putting out the reissues i was getting them uh, cross purposes this is not a reissue of course but i love the tony martin years i even like forbidden i have this on vinyl it's a bootleg but i have it tire i love these albums these are great yeah they're different but i like them born again this is where i'm talking about they're getting into the deluxe edition so these are all the ones that have the multi discs and blah blah blah, blah. so i was picking these up as they came out i don't think i necessarily have them all but I have the ones that are necessary. The remastered edition of Technical Ecstasy. I think all of these are going to be of that, uh, you know, Digipack uh, remastered re edition, re re releases. Sabotage. This one's not, though. I think I got this in a Walmart cutout bin for like $2. You still get that. Masters of Reality. Again, the uh, remastered. Seemed like they were doing a lot of those 10, 15 years ago. Everything was coming out, you know, paranoid. Now this has been reissued multiple times in multiple discs and multiple box sets just in the past couple years. And then the first album. I'm sure I'm missing a couple in there, but that's the extent of my Black Sabbath. And the last Black and the last batch for the night is Blackfoot. Uh... You know, Southern Rockish, just hard rockish. It depends on how you want to classify it. It's classic rock, hard rock, uh, with the Southern Rock flair. Uh, Ricky Medlock, you know, did some work in early Skinner. You find him on some of the earlier demo recordings, and then he went and did Blackfoot, and then and later on in the '90s he came back and became and has been a member of Skinner pretty much ever since. Um, there is some new Blackfoot stuff out where it's a band that he's kind of put together and uses a name young guys to kind of keep the name going but you know he's his involvement is not so much in playing as it is in uh, mentoring it so but this is all the classic stuff their first album no reservation flying high yeah and most all of these are again they were reissued and remastered i don't know 15 20 years ago or more so these are all some of those that came out uh, strikes probably the biggest one you know this has uh, all the big hits 
that everybody's uh, most familiar with train train and wishing well and you know all the I got a line on you this is the one as a kid I remember growing up that was the one we saw everywhere that cover was just pivotal um, Tom Catton this is where they started putting the albums on the uh, birds and animals marauder animals on the cover live album just absolutely love this live album highway song live just these guys rock it live CEO go look it's a picture of the band on the cover where the animals go what's up with that um, send me an angel anyway um, vertical smiles very nice very very uh, hmm, interesting great stuff technically a Ricky Medlock album solo album but you know hey let's throw the name Blackfoot on there and the record label was like put the name Blackfoot on there and we can sell it as a Blackfoot album it's uh, I mean it's a totally different band it's Ricky and some friends and you know totally different makeup great music though um, medicine man these are the ones that are like uh, like you know self-release type they're just like a, not on a major label they came out much later and I just love these albums. When I, I picked these up actually before I bought all those remasters, I'm like, ah, everybody knows the classics, but I found this one day in like a thrift store, like 30 years ago, 20 some years ago. I don't know when did this come out. 1991. And I'm like, oh, really? I didn't even know this existed. And you know, I picked it up and listened to it. I'm like, holy moly, this is some great stuff. Because this was later on in their years, in, in, in their career. After the Rain, this was one of them too. It's like, uh, you know, this album, I can't even think of the ones I love so much about this album. But when I got these, I'm just like, I never heard of these because these were later in their years when they fell off the public eye and they were putting out these. And I'm like, wow, they're still putting out great stuff. King Biscuit Live. That's it for the Blackfoot. One last black album, Black Thorn. Black Thorn. This is an album that I'd like to get on vinyl, which I do believe I think it's out. Um, had to have this because it's got, let me tell you who's on this. You are not going to be able to see that picture. Um, but this is like an all-star band, and I don't want to get the names wrong. So it's got Graham Bonnet on vocals. Graham Bonnet, if you don't know who he is, you know he's done Rainbow, he's done Impelitary, he's done Michael Shanker, he's done so many things. Bob Kulik on guitar. Bob Kulik is no longer with us. Bruce Kulik's brother. Um, Bob did a lot of work with Kiss on the low down, you know, recording stuff. Um, and Bob passed away a couple years ago, actually. Um, Frankie Benali on drums from Quiet Riot and everything that Frankie's done. And Chuck Wright on bass. And Jimmy Waldo on keyboards i'm not sure if i know him but i know chuck wright frankie benali bob kulik and graham bonnet just you know great 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 album and of course frankie is no longer with us either from you know he passed away a couple years ago too um it sounds great you know chuck wright did some time in in the he's been all around but you know he was in quiet riot and he was uh he was in magdalene he was in uh, house of lords anyway chuck wright just a great album okay and that was it so um, that would that was real close to where I ended last night anyway, so that's the end of that. And I'll be back with another segment soon, as soon as I pull out some more of those bees. Thanks a lot for watching again, and I will see you later. Rock on, rock hard. <laughs>